trying out some public space improvements in this wide expanse of asphalt which is normally used for speeding cars and parking yeah. and the idea is to slow down the cars put in some public space and test out some of the ideas about longer term investments that could happen in the neighborhood how is the reaction different uh, from the community from other cities well right now it seems pretty similar I mean, we haven't yeah. had a lot of um, people sitting down and enjoying the plaza, but people have been asking questions and as people drive by, not only are they negotiating the space safely and slowing down, but I've seen smiles, I've seen people looking around, having questions in their head as they drive through the space, and that's a good thing. It's making them think differently about what this area could become in the future. Um, so I really like to see that happen um, when people t start to take notice of the change. Yeah. But I'd love to see also other people to come out from the neighborhood and bring their own chair and sit down and enjoy the space. Um, yeah. At this point, they may think it's just um, us who can use it, but it'd be great if more people were using it. Yeah, and the more public space you have, the more opportunity you have to engage with your, with your neighbors and with your community. If you don't have those opportunities um, on, a, on your daily walk, you know, when you leave your house, if you feel like you just have to jump in your car and go, you don't have that same interaction with other people, which is so important to creating social capital and relationships. Yeah, social capital. Uh, feeling like your neighborhood is safe. A relation between uh, participatory citizenship and public space. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's important that people get a chance to, to without having to be come into a meeting indoors at you know Tuesday at seven o'clock at night, but they can participate just by their you know their daily uh, routine, being able to see something all of a sudden different and then be able to test that out themselves. Okay, thank you, Mike. You're welcome.